Oh guys everybody and welcome back to my video and today we will discuss about Pakistan taken aid to <laughs> and today we will discuss about Pakistan taken aid community which is going down day by day I don't know about the real problem but what I sense I can tell you only one Pakistani player named Arsalan Ash take part in Red Bull 7 Golden Letters Tournament. The first day of Arsalan Ash at the tournament was disaster. And this is the second time when Arsalan Ash eliminated by Yoshi player from tournament. I don't know what is going on but there is some problem with our players. The sooner we detect the problem, the better we got results. It all starts from EWC Taken Aid Tournament where all the Pakistani Taken Aid players sent to losers bracket. Because of this, the nerves of our players are not responding. They are pressurized and pretty much they don't know what to do. Or maybe Taken Aid community step ahead of Pakistan Taken community. And there is difference if you play for win and if you play for pride. On the very first day, I saw Arsalan Ash making vlog in right, right in the middle of the, of the stage, yeah. I mean, he was so confident that he will win. The attitude and the importance towards tournament of Arsalan Ash was not look, uh, looks like a uh, real. After straight two defeats from Sir Piggy, Arsalan Ash took over 3 to 2 and personally I, I would say he was looking good at that moment. It was very well played by Arsalan Ash, the pride of Pakistan. But when he comes to Yoshi player, Kenan Trench, look at that, he was busy with his phone. He was busy with phone. He was vlogging right in the middle of fighting arena. Was, wasn't it funny? He was looking immature. Arslan as takes first game very confidently and defeat Yoshi. Then instantly he picked his phone and I don't know what he was checking. And he has made just two vlogs. It was new for him. He was vlogging at the same time he was playing. And it shows Arslan Ash was not focusing. In the fighting arena, you have to be focused. You have to be sincere. I'm not criticizing Arslan Ash. He's a wonderful player. He is a genius. And obviously he was winning the second game also. But I don't know what happened with Arslan Ash. It looks like the other community of the world, Taken 8 community, was well prepared and they have well exercised. They have every answer of Arsalan Ash any movement and it looks like Arsalan Ash failing all the time. Personally I don't like Ar uh, Arsalan Ash's Nina. She don't have any strong mid mid moments as Dragonal. I remember the Arsalan Ash's first interview about Taken 8. He said Taken 8 is unfair game other than Street Fighter 6 or KOF. In Street Fighter 6 and KOF, you have to be struggle to complete your meters. But when you come to Tekken 8, you have meters already full. You can you can get 40% damage of heat drive, and also you can get 40 to 50% damage of rage drive. And then you can tell me what is left for fight? Nothing. Arsalan Ash is a basic player. His main source of winning was poking. And in Tekken 8, you can't poke. And we can see that. Tekken 8 is now looking like Tekken Tag Tournament 2. What do you need to know in Tekken 8? What is the better time for Heat Drive and Rage Drive? If you apply those two drives successfully, you can win easily rounds. I remember when Atibad played Akuma in Tekken 7. Akuma took time to full his first meter in every each round. Just one meter. To fill his meter, he has to struggle. Pros like Arsalan Ash and other basic players uh, who they are fighting struggle 
in playing Tekken 8 tournaments and I can I can say Tekken 7 was perfect game and what can I say about Tekken 8 it is like Street Fighter 6 and QF it is not like Tekken 8 Tekken 8 is not like Tekken game and the other thing is damage was too high and it is unfair if you have one successful combo you can get 70% damage plus you have rage left bro what is going on and it is just taken at season one maybe harada and company will think about it until the next time